What's up guys, welcome back to another episode here on the rainy day skyblock series. As you can see behind us, we have our tree farm from last episode. So in today's video, we're going to be focusing on upgrading this to produce the amount of money we get, as well as upgrading our studies. So if you enjoy this video, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribe with bell notifications turned on to stay tuned for future uploads. So anyways, getting into today's episode, we have managed to buy ourselves some iron. Now, the reason we've done that is because iron is the best ore you can get on the server. So what we want to do is we want to make ourselves a set of iron tools. So let's get ourselves an iron axe. We want ourselves an iron sword. This is not going to be as important as anything else, nor is our shovel. So right now it's just an axe and a pickaxe, which is going to be our main priorities. Now we're going to make a second axe because we're, we're going to go and enchant these things. So we go to our PV1. We did manage to buy ourselves some lapis as well. Now the reason I do have a lot of money is uh, I've sold my pet eggs for like seven and a half thousand. So we managed to get ourselves quite a bit of money and we have been grinding our trees as well as our ores. So if we go into studies, just to update you guys on where we are so far, if we go to ores, we're almost 30% through the apprentice of copper. And if we go into our trees, we've almost advanced in birch, which means we unlock spruce which is what we're going to be aiming for in today's episode. So, firstly, for you guys that don't know, there is an island open that does enchant. So if you do slash is visit, a big easy. If we go to his island, he does have some enchant tables available to the public. So basically, what we're going to do, we've already got ourselves a really good pickaxe once we combine it. So we're going to try and get ourselves a really good axe. Fortune 3 and breaking. Okay, let's see if we can get efficiency. Don't know why that says Depth Rider. Alright, we did get efficiency and I'm glad it didn't give us Depth Rider. Right, so we're going to smack down our anvil. We are then going to combine our axes. Now if we switch them around, we just went down in, ten, uh, in 8 levels. So it's always best to switch them around to see which is better. Now that is 23 levels, so I can't do much about that at the moment. But we do now have ourselves an axe. So basically we have efficiency four, so we should get through these quite quick. It's not the quickest axe. We'll focus on getting uh, efficiency five later down the line, but right now we just didn't have enough levels. So we need to mine ourselves 3,000 birch logs, I think it was. And then we unlock spruce. Right, so this design that we're about to do, uh, it came from, I think we saw it on the Neocubist, so the, one of the owners, we saw it on his island. And basically what he did is uh, just a massive grid pattern, but instead of running around having to pick yourself, pick your stuff up yourselves, like what, where do we now, he made it so it all just fell downwards where the void would be, but he built like a water stream, collecting all the things. And uh, from the test that he did, it collected the majority of things. Obviously, some items did get stuck on the platforms that you'd have to walk across. But it just saves us a lot of time not having to collect everything, especially with it being so big. But firstly, let's do slash is upgrades. Uh, let's upgrade our island size, because we can. And it'd be beautiful if it was a lot bigger. Now, it went to minus 60, I believe. And we went so we wanna we're gonna do it on this one so then we still have space for the water and then uh, space to actually build below so we don't, don't keep getting teleported upwards because it's probably gonna be quite annoying I could imagine and let's just see how far out we can really go go into each corner so just a little square and then in the middle we're gonna start doing a little grid pattern. So we're going to time lapse this and then we'll be right back.
we finished building the grid, we've decided to use moss instead of dirt because it's a lot easier for us to get. So now we're just going to go restock on our building materials and then it's time to start making the water system in order to collect all of our resources. Alright, so we finally built this full layer. Now we just add in the final touches in. So that'd be adding these two chests, adding in our hoppers. So let's add in some of them. In which we did the wrong place. What was stupid to me? There we go. That works. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now what we want to do is fly up into one of our corners. Let's get our water out because it's time to start placing water. Now I made sure these back ones that I'm placing the water against is full blocks. So we're not waterlogging every two seconds. So at least I thought that part ahead. And it should all flow down perfectly. Okay, then lastly, if we place one in here. Okay, okay. Okay. We didn't mess up. We didn't mess up. Okay, so now that all that's dug out, we're just gonna wait for our trees to grow, and then we'll be right back to do full harvest. We're back after 20 minutes, I believe it's been. Uh, so our trees have mostly grown, as we can see here. So we're gonna chop them down, uh, and then we're gonna check our drops hopefully we collect more than we usually collect because before i'm flying back and forth just trying to get everything and if we go into our wood we need to mine two and a half thousand more birch so hopefully we can do them both i didn't know fortune actually worked on trees but i'm getting a lot of wood now i 
I guess that's about like 20. Does the fortune work on this? I don't think it does. It doesn't. Right, so we're gonna just chop down these trees, then we're gonna sit and watch the water catch all the drops. So hopefully, I mean, we don't really need a lot of wood, but I'm pretty sure a stack of birch sells for about $20. And uh, we've already got a lot of it, so we could just sell it all, especially with this fortune, because we're getting a lot. Okay, so we're just going to chop down all these trees, and then we'll be right back to see how much we've done. Okay, so we just finished mining everything that was here. So we're just going to do a quick fly over. Make sure we pick up everything that has dropped on these platforms. Like I said, obviously we can't catch it all because we do need somewhere to just walk in between. So now if we go down here, now I know it hasn't been running uh, that long, that everything's deteriorated. But it definitely works. That is a lot of apples. What's that? 4, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nothing should have gone in there. That's good. We have ourselves over a stack of saplings. Uh, it's definitely doing its job better than we would have. Now, a bit of it is getting caught on here, but when we expand our island another one, it should sort that problem. We'll have to obviously make some adjustments. If we go to our studies, so was that like 1500 basically? It was like um, maybe 30 off. We're now at 1900. So we got like, what's that, 400? Four, 4 to 500 blocks we just mined on a full grow. So now obviously it takes two stacks to replenish it. So we're a bit short there, but everything has not yet fallen. And nothing else should be stuck in any of these chests. Great. Okay, guys, so we've been mining these birch trees, and we've finally got ourselves over into the spruce. So we look, going to our studies, you can see we're spruce. We've mined a bit. We've managed, we've got 10 saplings in total. Uh... And yeah, so next episode, we've got bigger plans for it. Now the spruce don't really work in this setup we've got right now. Obviously, spruce trees are a lot taller than birch and oak. So we're going to have to figure something different out. But for now, guys, thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe with bell notifications turned on, and I'll see you in the next one.